This is the first part of a tutorial series, link to download the files can be found in the description. They will be on Patreon for everyone to download, however the PSD file is exclusive to Patreons only. Without further ado, let's begin. So, I here have Photoshop up and running with a new document open. Let me show you my document dimensions. Let me go to image, canvas size and here. My size is 2400 into 3000 pixels or in inches it is 12 into 15 inches. Keep it at 150 or 300 pixels per inch. With that done go to file, then find place linked, open up the tutorial folder and select the background image I have provided. It's a screenshot from Spider-Man PS4. Give it a second to load up and once that's imported, press Ctrl and T to activate free transform and then go to one of the corners then press the Alt key and left click on the corner and move your mouse all at the same time to scale the image. Scale it till the image covers the whole document then hit enter. After scaling up the image go down to the Create Fill or Adjustment Layers tab in the bottom right and choose Color Lookup Layer. A tab should open up and click on Choose, Load 3D Loot, and select the Moonlight Loot. We will use Moonlight Loot to light the left half of the image. Now in your layers tab you will see a white thing on the loot layer. That is the layer mask. So if we paint black on the layer mask, that painted portion will be hidden. Select the brush tool. Make sure you have black and white colors down at the bottom left. If not then just click the small button with black and white to bring those colors back. Go on top and choose your brush and adjust the brush size. Then adjust the opacity of the brush, keep it below 50% and the flow too. Now for example if you paint on the image, it removes the blue color the loot is giving. Let me quickly undo that. In the original image the light is coming from the door so we will remove the blue area and diffuse it around the door. Slowly start painting around the door. I recommend you to use a digital tablet for this but a mouse should be fine for now. I am roughly doing this with a mouse so take your time while doing this. Once you are done painting, go down and create a new layer on the bottom right. Now we will be adding light into the scene. Increase the brush size a bit, reduce the hardness to zero. Select a white color and set the layer's blending mode to color dodge. Make sure the flow and opacity are low, both below 50% while you paint. This is a slight glitch, should not be happening on your computer just ignore it here. Paint around the scene, light eventually fades so keep that in mind. It looks really bland right now but we will fix it. Once you are done painting, go back down to create a new color lookup layer. And this time choose the edgy amber loot. This loot gives a very warm color feel to your image. Set the new color lookup layer's blending mode to soft light, then select the gradient tool and make sure in the layers tab you have the layer mask of the color lookup layer as selected. Just click and drag from the dark area to the bright to create a gradient in the layer mask. I am going to manually paint the layer mask a bit more to adjust my scene further, feel free to do that. Now you see we are much closer to the finishing the lighting of the background. 
Create a new color lookup layer and choose edgy amber again. Select the layer mask and make a gradient straight through the middle, black on the left and white on the right. Then set the blending mode to screen. Now add a new color lookup layer again, this time choose bleach bypass and in the layer hierarchy move it below the two edgy amber color lookup layers we made before. Set the blending mode to screen for the new color lookup layer. and reduce the fill percentage until you are satisfied. I do this to add more ambience into the room, to give more strength to the light. Once all that is done select the topmost layer in the layer hierarchy and press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E all at the same time. This will merge all visible layers into one new layer. Let's add some more touches to the background. Go to Filter, and select Camera Raw. This is one of Photoshop's most powerful tools if you ask me. This is kind of like editing your photos on Lightroom Mobile, but I will recommend you to not overdo anything, these settings are pretty straightforward so go crazy. You can follow what I do here exactly or improvise, it's up to you. The shadow from the door handle seems off since the light is coming through the door, let's fix that. Press Z to zoom in and then select the polygonal lasso tool for your tooled bar. If that does not show then click and hold the lasso tool or magnetic lasso tool till you see more options and select polygonal lasso tool. Then just follow how I click to make a selection around the rim of the door handle, here we will create a rim light. Once you made your selection, select the brush tool, and press the Alt key to sample the color displayed on the screen. Press Alt and sample the color of the light coming in from the door then create Press Alt and Backspace to fill that sampled color inside the selection. Press Ctrl and D to remove the selection. Now to remove the shadow, again use the polygonal lasso tool to make a selection around the shadow of the door handle like I do. Once you make the selection, press right click and select fill, then a window should pop up. Make sure the contents is on content aware then press ok. Once the effect is applied it will look strange, don't worry we will adjust that. Keep the selection active and select the clone stamp tool. Just like how we sampled colors before this will sample whatever is visible. So sample an area in the image above or below the selection by pressing alt and clicking, then start painting inside the selection. This is a bit complicated but more practice will help you get used to it.
Once done, press Ctrl and D to deselect and then sample and paint further around the weird edges of the selection to fix the small issues. Now you are done and you have created the background for this project. We will continue this project in the next part. We will be adding the characters and composite them into the scene. Until then, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good day.